Hi everyone, welcome. It's uh, Friday, October 21st, uh, 2016 for the Jupiter Lab uh, dev meeting. Uh, we're just gonna go around and give status reports and a call for discussion. Steve, let's start with you. All right. Um, I've been working this week on cleanup of APIs and tests in Jupyter Lab, um, as well as targeting some 0 0.9 issues, uh, just trying to get us closer to that milestone. Um, and that, that about covers it. Pretty, pretty uh, boring week. You've been doing a ton, though. Uh, thanks. Darian? Um, I've also been doing mostly cleanup type things. Um, there was there was a bug with um, giving the focus to the console. Everything else sort of gave the little blue bar to the tab in the tab panel, but consoles didn't do it unless you clicked in the prompt area. So I fixed that. Um, did a bunch of refactoring on um, the new launcher widget um what else did i do i wrote some tests for the new um notebook tracker um and i'm currently working on some console tests because the only part of console that really has any tests is history and it's a it's a big piece of the ui so i figured we should have some tests for it um, because it's mostly stabilized now, even if we change stuff, I don't think it'll be too disruptive to have to modify tests up until pretty recently we were messing around with it a lot, but I think it's stable enough to write tests for. Um, that's it for me. Great. Uh, Dan? You're, you're muted. Now you're, oh, sorry. I guess you weren't muted before. We still can't hear you, though. You're not muted no, anymore. His mic is broken. So I was like, that's just fine. Okay. Well, that was there's a chat. <laughs> Matthias, do you guys have uh, any status update? Uh, so I've, I've been slowly catching up and now that I'm uh, better, I will try to spend more time on Jupyter Lab. I've been working on preparing uh, next week where we are. Um, on the East Coast for a conference, and also trying to um, think about planning ahead um, which subject we want to discuss uh, at the meeting in three weeks. Uh, and I, want, I also want to point out um, Microsoft Language Server Protocol. I passed the link in the hackpad, I can pass the link uh, in the chat as well um, here in the, in the building. It's something that is uh, already a few months old that I already pointed out before um, and that would be good to look at and maybe implement because it's starting to get a lot of tractions uh, and uh, it would be nice to, to have interoperability with, uh, with that. I totally agree. <laughs> I would love to see the language service integration. That may involve some server changes uh, to be able to start up a language server uh, to communicate with, but yeah, that looks like a, a, a good effort. Um, status report for me, I've uh, been working a lot on widgets, trying to get to the point where we can release a dev widgets version that's uh, compatible, feature compatible with uh, the current notebook and Jupyter Lab, um, and been cleaning up a bunch of other stuff as well. Uh, just looking at the pulse, uh, we've got 29 active pull requests we merged 26 of them and there's three open so that's of the pull requests i think that were opened this week and we closed 16 issues and have 11 new issues 142 commits 123 files yeah 4500 additions 3300 deletions that's been a busy week um so are there items for discussion? There's no needs discussion issues for milestone 0.9 right now. Are there other issues for discussion? Uh, I had one thing that I wanted to bring up. 
uh, which I, I, I talked about this with Brian real briefly in New York, um, but I'm finding that uh, something along the lines of, of an observable string uh, will be useful. And I'm uh, wondering if, uh, you know, if, that is, if that's the type of thing that is, there's some interest in that in other parts of the project. And, um, and by that, I mean something like a string where uh, you, can, you can subscribe to changes in it and it'll fire a signal uh, when it changes. And you can apply uh, this to it. Um, I mean, something oh, very okay. close to the observable oh. vector. Oh, okay. I was going to say there is an observable vector. Steve's been working on. But, um, so, yeah, yeah, Ian, that, that sounds good. Um, what I what I sort of did with the observable vector is I took pieces of the Google Drive API and pieces of the phosphor vector and sort of found a good middle ground or two. Um, yeah, I'm happy to work with you on that. You want to submit something to this question? I started that, oh. but it's still in a very rough state at the moment. Yeah. Just a, a word of caution with that. Um, before you go down into a really deep rabbit hole trying to implement efficient data structures for this, be known that lots of JS engines um, already implement their strings as ropes under the covers. Um, so doing a pending and joining and whatnot of strings is actually quite efficient. So you might not have to do a whole lot of work um, trying to re-implement data structures in JavaScript. Um, we can research that more, um, but I do recall that most of the JS engines already severely optimize uh, string manipulations. Sure. Yep. Great. Any other uh, items for just so it sounds like open an issue so we can discuss the API and awesome. Any other issues for discussion? And Chris, did you want to give any status update? I know that uh, you're on the call. I didn't see you in the video. I forgot to check the uh, list of participants. Oh, yeah, it's fine. Um, just real quick, I'm about done with the refactor of the doc panel so that we can use iframes. Um, expect that to be done today. Um, so yeah, that's, that's my big update. It's, uh, it was quite a bit of work because I had to basically ramp on the doc panel from scratch, but, um, but it's going well, almost done. So. Awesome. We're really excited about that. Uh, okay, anything else that need, people need to talk about? Okay, bye internet. Um, if anyone wants to talk about abstract,